Hey folks, yeah, it's time for me to do this basic exact same video again, and I'll leave both of them up because it never hurts to have a couple of videos posted on uh, something that makes a difference and that can make you money as well. Okay, again, talking about the uh, discontinued um, Electro Voice mics. Um, mainly the seven or let's do it this way the n slash d uh seven six seven a's okay um i keep all of my searches open with about 10 different ways of writing them in order to get all of them that show up to actually show up in my searches um Number one, the main reason, again, for posting this is the new mics from EV that have come out to replace these blow major chunks. And yes, I do follow people who have the new, uh, which are just the ND76 mics out, which again, blow chunks. I follow people and just check them real quick. I don't follow them. But I will put that in because they show up a lot of times with the same search because of a 7, 6, and that's all they have. But then there's a 7 and a whatever. So eBay's way of doing things isn't always great. But um, if they purchased one of those mics, and then I go to where it's used, see who bought them, and go back in their... Um, purchase history um, which is their feedback thing most people just don't leave feedback but anyway since they have that for sale um, it's fun to find out when they purchased it compared to when they're selling it okay and then see if they have purchased a 767a like I'm telling them to because again I'm right on pretty much everything I ever uh, point out there. Why would I give you fake crap? Um, fake news! No. Um, and I'm giving you again, as I always do, um, a way to make money. Because this is going to be a money maker. Why would I have sunk over 10 grand into buying these mics? You're like, what? <laughs> yeah, it's a money maker. It's a um, no, I can't lose. Okay, so I'll put these all up for sale when I see fit, when I see the trend of everybody being sick of um, the new mics and going back to the ones that just kick ass over everything else in their price point. It doesn't matter, I don't think, in the price point of these because these are just ultra amazing microphones. Okay, so let's get back to it. Let's get you making some money and let's get you to making, uh, getting probably the best um, hypercardioid microphone in the world um, at any price point for live situations. Okay, again, here they are. And yeah, I'll plug them in in a stupid live thing, not in a mixer for you to go straight direct through. I will simply compare them over this camera's internal microphone up against the crappy 57s and 58s and oh those are legendary they're the industry standard um, standard <laughs> it means uh, normal or subpar that you can that most people know about them and you base other things against them so you have a squire of some sort and then you just kinda go from there and um, put a comparison up against those. Uh, so the SM57s and 58s are and have been like the squire of microphones for many decades. And you're like, how come so? If it's good enough for him, I'm not going to trust the YouTube guy, some random dude. Um, what the hell? If that's you, which it usually is, go fuck yourself. Again, um, just doing you a favor. Um, what am I getting from this? Not a thing. <laughs> Again, not monetized, not anything. 
I'm just making you money and giving you great microphones that you will um, either get or you won't. Okay, here we go. So here is part of the uh, selection that I have purchased. So these are the these are them. Okay, the ND767A. Yeah, they made a 767. Don't get it. They made a lot of other um, things, but these are the ones to get. Um, the vast majority of these, due to age, have lost their internal pop filter or windscreen very easily taken care of. They turn to dust. Um, I just simply buy massive amounts of these internal things over from China and they work on every mic that has had that uh, problem. I just cut it to size, cram them in there, good to go. I always shoot the top of the microphones, bottom of microphones that need um, a touch up, hit them with flat black uh, before I exchange the internal um, windscreen and everything is flipping beautiful they all look brand new some of them are some of them are brand new meaning, meaning new old stock somebody never used them so this is a whole thing of them um, let's see down here here's another whole collection of these that they're all the same okay over here, yeah, another collection of the same. Um, I've got 20, 30 of them around that are actually um, in use that, are, of course, are uh, not in here. Uh, so, well, duh, I just showed you. Some are in here. <laughs> um, then I do the capsules. Uh, the 767 capsules to screw into uh, things that will let me do it as far as wireless microphones because I have different wirelesses and um, some of my so-called EV wireless um, receivers they're not EV stuff they're like Telex and other companies but when it comes down to the microphone uh, the capsule is going to be this why because again it's just the best sounding mic out there is that my opinion? Um, no. It's partially my opinion, I guess. Hey, here's a good old one, just for fun. Uh, the EV761A. Uh, this is an amazing microphone from just a little bit longer ago. Um, with the switch, which is something that I will pull out now and then if I'm... DJing wedding, wedding <laughs> things because you want things to look special for such things so you do special things to them um, I have wi the wireless mics that I will put a nice gold ball on the end of to make it look special when people are passing that wireless around um, because it's supposed to look fancy and then I put the regular nasty looking Thing like this <laughs> on there later okay I just wanted to show you this because it's in pristine condition and I couldn't be happier to have one why the on and off switch because when I'm using these instead of the wireless um, it's so much easier to turn it on and off if other people want to use something like these for like karaoke or something they think that every single microphone in the world should have an on and off switch since their, you know, $5 microphone that they use at home for karaoke has one. But they, they fucking freak out if they get a microphone that does not have an on and off switch. I mean, they, they sit there and look forever. It's like, <laughs> and then they'll, sometimes they'll go, oh, piece of shit, where's that? It's like. So you bring special mics out, especially these for the karaoke singers, um, because they're just generally retarded. Okay, so these mics, if you can grab them, how do I make my money, Scott? And yes, I will do long videos because it's worth it and because I, they're a lot more informative. Um, 
I will go um, generally 50 to 60 bucks if they are in good condition is what I pay for them and shipping um, should not be more than um, six dollars because you can do a flat rate ship um, in a two-day um, express priority mail flat rate box but if they're coming in their original packaging which they're all over the flipping place um, then of course it takes something else to pack them in um, hey Audix I'll show you why I have those around um, so that's the prices I will pay and just a slightly bit more for the ones who actually come with the box and all the uh, stuff that come with it and again just how amazingly pristine they are how much case candy is in the box and if it comes with the initial um, high impedance microphone cable <laughs> you heard me right high impedance high impedance okay so they sound amazing and they act amazing they are much much better sounding than the sm58s and again they are a close-up microphone um, when you get in there um, yeah you do like any of these microphones just same as 58 um, they do not work at more than an inch away and from an inch away they still sound like shit because you're not using them correctly. They make microphones for other uses, like singing four feet away or an inch away. These are not them. The proximity effect on these, um, when you're getting into them and eating them at certain points, uh, the low end that comes in is phenomenal on these, whereas an SM58 has no proximity effect zero at all so where you get a person like myself who sings a lot of uh low stuff i want a low end when i get in there and when i'm singing over the top you know it's um that way so the proximity effect you might be just hearing my voice i don't know don't care but it's amazing to have so and they even made the 357 or 367s uh, for female singers, <laughs> which means, wait, well, hey, we're going to make it so they can sing back here because <laughs> they don't know how to use a fucking mic. Um, and you have to take that into consideration. 99 out of 100 chicks just don't know how to use a fucking mic. Why is that? Um, general rule, they don't know what the fuck they're doing. Okay, and that goes with most dudes too. They just don't know what the fuck they're doing as per all the emails or whatever have you responses that I get. Well, that ain't right. Yeah, it's right. And again, well, so-and-so used it and this and it's like, yeah, Buckethead had one on his whatever. It's like, or one down the front of his pants to make it. Yeah, whatever. These are better uh, by a long shot. And again, um... SM58s and 57s are never going to go up in price. Will they lose their value? No, because the normal people think that, uh, yeah, that's what I should buy. But then again, much better, better mics, and they are gone. So before they are totally gone because of this video, and yes, that's the way it works, Scott Grove actually thinks that the prices are determined by what he says. Um, yeah, they go up. Every time I do a they should go up thing. Um, PVT series stuff, for example. Um, T60s, T40s, whatever. They all went up three times what they were, and they have not went up ever in their lives in um, 30 years. Then all of a sudden I do a video, and they do. Yeah, it's happened that way to everything that I've ever done. And they're like, what a narcissistic fuck. Um, I just know my shit <laughs> and I know when things are going up and down because I make it my, that's my fun. I love watching these things and I will sell these for 30 grand. Not a problem. In three years, I will sell just what you see right here 
plus maybe 10, 20 other ones laying around and then of course keep a dozen or two for myself until I just see no interest in it anymore or I'm dead. But yeah, amazing mics. So um, yeah, a lot of these are already selling for double or double and a half since the last video I posted on this, which wasn't long ago. And it was a very shoddy video, as this one will be. But, anyway. And these mics are amazing. Much better than the 57s. These are the 478s. So this is the typical replacement that you would think you should replace a SM57 with. Okay? I'll plug that in next to a 57 and let you just hear the general... Um tone of it with uh, this little PA I have in this room um, one against the other and again the lovely uh, audio via YouTube and great microphones to replace everything that an SM57 would normally be used for okay here's where things get a little different um, the kick drum mics way better than good god everything out there um, your typical Sure 52s and the AKGs and the... Okay, these are all from the same place. They're all discontinued. Okay? So, here you go. Ta-da! Um, they are just simply better sounding, um, better everything. Okay? And a lot of this, again, is if you know how to properly mic up something. That's not what this is about. This is about making you some money and knowing what are some great microphones. Okay, how to use microphones, I'll do on something else. Um, so those are monsters. Get them if and when you can. The new ones, again, Bite Dog. These are claimed, which is uh, <laughs> kind of funny, that these are the mics that you can plug in for the kick drum that you never have to EQ. Just plug them in, they're going to sound great. What if you have a shit system and you don't know how to do anything? Well, that's where the hype fails. <laughs> if you don't know what the fuck you're doing, it's not going to be able to plug right in and sound great. You plug this into a phonic PA system or some harbinger or har harbinger, um, basically saying Behringer, um, cheap stuff. Um, no, of course it's not going to sound good. I actually had a guy write me the other day. Dude, I need, we use our PA for vocals only, but we let all the amps do the work. It's like, oh, good fucking God, how is this going to get worse? But we need, uh, since we run such a low-powered PA, we do put the kick drum through the PA, but every time he hits the kick drum, it p draws the power down so far that you could even see the light go down, you know, for the power thing. And when we're singing, everything goes, oh, gets sucked way down, and... <laughs> It's like, um, what do we do about it? It's like, get a real fucking PA. Um, and they're like, well, we were thinking about buying a separate sound system just for the kick drum mic. Oh, my fucking God. Anyway, these sound great. They have a nice 2K um, spike in there. They are meant for a kick drum or uh, bass guitar cabinets, floor toms all that stuff but they do have the 2k spike so if you want that click in there great and who would not want the click in their bass drum especially if you're doing double kicks uh your stuff will sound like shit if you're one of them drummers that don't know fuck and you don't want the click you just want um you'll just have that exactly going on um but 100 percent of the time if you're doing double kicks so if you are the sound dude or responsible for the sound um, yeah, give him the 2K click for definition, no matter what the fuck he wants. Um, they're never correct, and again, most musicians are just not bright, especially when it comes to sounds. Okay? Um, so, amazing microphones. Maybe grab some of those if you just want some amazing mics. Um, these are amazing. Not the others. <laughs> that look like them. By EV. Mm -hmm. Okay, these, the 468. Um, great everything mics. Vocals, toms, horns, 
meaning brass sections. The head <laughs> giggity um, swivels everywhere, makes it nice to get in and mic up close on your toms, wherever you shall want them, or on your anything you're using them on to get them in places where when you put a regular cable in here um, you would run out of room and these were the cables would be hitting underneath symbols and other places some people do not know that not all microphone cables are like this they make right in cables so you don't have to have this long ass thing so yeah they make the right in cables just like they make them for everything else um, <laughs> so if you haven't got any um, what's wrong with you okay so these are amazing they make a they did make a whole bunch of other ones that look like this but they never sound like this so again another great one for guitar horns uh, toms um, snare um, blah 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 you're like yeah but you already said that these can do what a 58 does I'm sorry, a 57, and that's what everybody uses for toms and sn uh, snares and horns and everything. These are better, so why not get better, okay? And if you want to use these, fine. Test them up against these. You'll see the difference. You'll hear the difference, okay? These are long, long, long. These are short, 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 and they fit in the tight little spaces. Blah, 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 blah. The nice snare mic which you will never find the 168 okay it's even marked on there if i can get my ship there you go the snare drum mic it's an amazing sounding snare mic and again it has to do with sp levels what it can handle um hey this one has a nice pubic hair hanging off of it no that's not what it is but it could be a string of paint who knows um, so there's some of that, um, down in here, so you're looking at all the same things, more of the same, more of the same when they're different, um, the 57s, uh, that one's from the, uh, 70s, I believe, this one I purchased brand spanking new, um, the thing about why I would ever purchase such things are for when you are playing or doing sound for pieces of shit which means uh regular bands because they will walk off with your shit which again that's why you put that on there um but people love to steal your shit these come up missing i don't want these to end up missing those i don't give a fuck <laughs> Um, those aren't going to earn me money and blah 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 and I expect people to be thieves because most people in the world are pieces of shit the Audix condenser mics um, I just use these for overheads uh, sometimes a little far away for the bottom of a snare drum so you could pick up the snares but not the bottom of the drum just put all that crap up there in the uh, uh, 6.3 range up to 12 or something just to add a little bit of the actual snare sounds why not make a snare sound like a snare drum so mic both sides <laughs> you're like so and so didn't yeah do you want a good sound well he had a good sound do you okay do you want a better sound nobody can sound better okay you're a fuckwad again okay so that be that now you're going to say, here's a fake. Um, I don't think so many people understand that most of the microphones, like SM58s, they have a, the SM58S, which means it has a switch. Okay? Most people, that's what it is. There are 767A S's, which have a on and off switch, or an on and off switch. You always use the word an on and off switch if the word like and on and off switch yes history um spelling lessons and stuff because most people are fucktards so you're going to use an on and off switch instead of a on and off switch because the word after your an begins with a vowel so learn how to do that um 
quit sounding like a tard. Um, they're always talking about, this is one of Sure's big selling things and other people's big selling things. You can use these or the 57s as a hammer. And we have many times driving in nails and so forth. And then it comes back. Yeah, it's a fucking tool. <laughs> as are most people. Um, again, never... This, I love this saying. Um, I personally do not like anyone in the world until they give me a reason to do so. Because people suck. Okay. Here's another fun little thing for you while you're here. If any of you douchebags <laughs> are out there running your computer, um, there you go, your little laptop or what the fuck have you, your little phone or whatever source you have that is amplified out of a headphone jack, which is retarded, totally retarded if you're doing it. Yes, you are a major retard, and you're putting it through your sound system. Well, it sounds fine. Um, yeah, the my anus sounds fine when I shove a harmonica up in there and do a Peter Griffin and play the harmonic with my sphincter. But this is the correct way to do them. You get something like this. It's a passive one, but these are amazing to use. And if you cannot get an external sound card that was for the older computers running like Windows um, XP up through 8 then 10 won't support any um, such things external sound cards um, grab one of these mic uh, things that mic things <laughs> um, anyway these will allow you to get a proper signal and a good signal they were a buffer out of the bullshit filter out the bullshit it's a good little um, way to do things with different inputs and you get your level here and it pulls out the bad shit from using anything that will come out of a headphone jack and send it the right way to your sound system what does that have to do with anything um, you got a free uh, tidbit. Okay, so that is about that. So again, you're going to make money off these because people will find out via me and not many other sources. But this will make you, again, aware of um, what is amazing. So if you are looking for amazing mics, you will only find these used. And don't buy the new EV stuff. Because it sucks balls. I've contacted them. And they hang up. I write to them to tell them what a mistake they've made. Because nobody else is using the new shit either. Again, the people that tried it are selling them. And going back and getting these. Why? Because they just blow the doors off the inferior products. Because people make those things. They try something new. And... They pull the Gibson thing and just put out a bunch of new shit that really, really sucks. That, um, again, really, really sucks. <laughs> okay. Again, uh, the other reason is to make you some money. Okay. Again, that's why I went out and spent ten grand on this stuff. Because I know I'm going to triple my money. I always do that. So, um, do I have to be a fucking nut to spend that money? No. I am 10,000% sure I'm getting my money back. So, um, I have made my investment, and I'm not getting any more. Why? Because I can keep on, keep on, keep on. Yeah, it's a Brady Bunch song. Anyway, some won't remember, but if you do remember that song, what an amazing <laughs> piece of work. Okay, so real quick, which is impossible at this point, here is the 767A, and here is the SM58. Again, going through what? The little PA in here. Um, flat. I'm just using the same mic cable, same, why wouldn't I? You don't want one here and one there because people think there is trickery afoot. Um, 
and that is that. So here's a 58 with whatever sound you're going to get. 58. And I'm standing far away so you don't hear my voice. Hello, one, check, two, one, two, check, two, one, and two. Hello, check, one, two, hello, check, one, two. I'm doing nothing different with my voice. They're the same volume. I'm not trying to do the DJ voice for this one and then talk like a doofus over here. Again, check one, two, two. This should be an amazing proximity effect where you are getting the cool um, stuff that would bring out all this. <laughs> oh, Priscilla, give me a big old peanut butter and banana sandwich, baby. Oh, my. Thank you very much. None of that shit. You cannot work the mic. People call working the mic doing this. There is nothing here. You can't pick up anything. And tell, 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 tell. There's nothing here. Nothing. 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 Not there it is. My lips have to be sucking off the microphone in order to make it work. And that's what they are designed for. Okay, so again. Two. Okay. Two, 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 two. Check. Two, two, two. One. Check. Two, two, one, two. Hey, and check one, two, check two, two, two. Huge flipping difference. You're like, what was that one thing? That's crackling back and forth from the on and off switch, which does not work. Two, 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 check two, 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 two. That's just the on and off switch. Not a bad microphone, just sure quality. One, and then from moronish people dropping them all the time because they think it's cool. At the end of their karaoke, to drop the mic. <laughs> okay, people. One, two, one, two. Uh. And check one, two, one, two. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Yeah, just a fucking amazing goddamn microphone. Um, I have bought so many of these. Uh, music go round um, is the place where you can still get them cheap. But when I buy, I always have to make sure I wait and get four or five of them listed on there to make it worth putting them all in one box and sending. They won't do it unless you ask. Otherwise, you go pay 20, 30 bucks shipping per microphone. So you, and they will rape you for that. But they will be the ones that will sell them for $49.99 instead of the 120 bucks that some people will get easily for this microphone. Um, and it's only going to go up. Okay, so they will send things like this, and sometimes they're cool where they're like, um, okay, just keep the shitty one. Okay, so if I buy four, which I did here, and I've done many times, some just say send them back. These people say go ahead and keep it. Okay, whenever these are fucked up, they're always fucked up in the same way. How they get there, who knows, but there is absolutely no sign of any um, internal windscreen, pop filter, anything in there. But here's what always happens to these when people probably drop them many times or spill Pepsis on them or whatever. Here's the good one, and then I'll just plug in the other one so you know what the difference will be. When you get one and you say, God, Scott, that sounds like shit. If it sounds like shit, it's the microphone. Okay? Not just because it's this, because you have a bad microphone. Here's good microphone, bad microphone. One and two and one and two. One and two and one and two. Okay, you're like, oh, I like that one for that megaphone sound. If you do, buy a broken one, okay? <laughs> so it's there because he said I could keep it. So I kept it for the sleeve that is on these to make it nice and cushy if you're a lead singer. Okay, let's just put this back over here. I will just simply grab one other mic. I don't care. Um, again, I said this was the closest. This is the uh, 478 that is here to take place of uh, this new, the brand spanking new SM57. This has been used once. Okay. So, 57 first. And, 
a 57 and a 58 are the exact same microphone. Zero difference except for um, the ball on the end of it. You're like, well, it has different specs. That's because you can't get right into an SM58 like you can this. They have different, um, because of the ball again, is the only flip of difference. You can't, again, you can't get this close. You can't have the amount of feedback rejection this has from the back side of it as the ball one because it's creating uh, sound off your balls. That's the only difference. They are identical, same element enter, no difference except for 10 bucks for the ball. Okay, that is it. Nothing different. If you want to say anything else about it, um, you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Lots of fake ones coming in from China. Uh, 58s, 57s. If you can do this with a 57, chances are it's good. <laughs> uh, the fake ones, they don't turn. Okay, just a little bit of information. Okay, 57 to the uh, 478. Check. One, two, one, two, check, one, two, one, two, one, two, check, one, two, one, two, one, two. Check, one, two, one, two, check, one, two. Is it because it's louder that makes that better? No, it's just a way better fucking microphone. Everything about it sounds great. So when you go to microphone placement on anything, you have... 10 times more options with this because, again, of the proximity effect um, and then the fact that it is just simply a way better microphone. So you have more choices in doing such a thing. And all of the mics that I have shown you, um, I don't have the other mics because of certain reasons, because these are the good ones. These are the ones people are buying. They're not buying the other ones that were discontinued. That's why I showed you the ones that I did. Again, last time, 57, brand new. Check one, two, one, two, one, two. Check one, two, one, two, one, two. Hey, you have jack shit, you don't have nothing. Check two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Why are you putting this way out on your speaker cabinet when it doesn't do anything until it's actually like touching the fucking cone? I don't know, that's you doing the bad thing. Check one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, two, two. You have to uh, touch it. <laughs> check one, two, one, two, check one, two, and you still get nothing here. Like it is supposed to be, and then, hey. That's why you can use these on drums, but yeah, if you use one of these, you have to slam a whole bunch of compression, um, gates, and shitloads of bottom end into here. When this sounds great because it's meant for today's um, miking purposes. So, amazing shit, huh? So, again, make yourself a bunch of money or just get some amazing fucking microphones because these have the word fucking in it. Um, 57s and 58s, they don't have fucking... They're just pieces of fucking shit. So I could use fucking in there. Um, uh, so, so used it. I know they did. Um, and people like having four or five 57 shoves up their ass too. Um, not that there's anything wrong with that in our society. Oh, gotta love having a microphone shoved in your ass. And especially five, six, seven, eight of them. <coughs> Okay, so there you go. I hope you learned something, and more than anything, I hope you simply go get a great microphone, or 10 or 20, and sell them later, or get a lot of use out of them, and then spray the flat black on them, and put a new uh, windscreen thing up underneath there. The only place you can find those are in China. And again, I bought a few hundred of them because they sell them by the bags of 100. And then you just cut them. <laughs> Nobody who wants to take shit and try to put them in there. Um, these are by far the best way to do it. You don't have to glue them in. Just cram them over top of the element, shove it back in, screw it on. You're good to go. But again, don't paint the um, windscreen or around anything until 
Um, I mean, paint all that shit first before you put the fucking thing um, windscreen up inside of it. The pop filter. Um, don't put... You can use pantyhose, but make them very, very, very thick. Like they're meant for uh, women that weigh over 500 pounds or whatever. Then they might be thick enough to contain that cottage cheese. But then once you actually use a the spray adhesive and put it in there you just blocked all the pores in which you need to sing through so that's how you do the things um i hope you enjoyed this but more than anything i could give a fuck if you enjoyed it but i hope you get again get great mics make good money off of them when it's time to do so and enjoy the content for the people who love dr groovy which i'm my biggest fan which means I have to show you a little thing. Yes, my dick. In the next uh, video, which I'll just do now, it'll be a small one. Again, like my Swinging Johnson. My favorite band name of all time. My bass player had a band called the Swinging Johnsons. Um, great band name. They're not together anymore, so take the name. It don't matter. There probably is one called that now since... That one was so awesome. Okay, you guys be groovy. I already am, and talk to you in a moment. I got a few things to show you today. Okay, later.